I'm just like, do them like as you're cleaning them. Take one. Don't just do them like that, dude. Do it like you fucking care, fucking please. I did say that earlier. I did say that when we first got here. And you said, yeah, sounds good. Sounds cool. Fucker. Hey guys, so uh, today we're gonna be prepping our rustic Meyer lemon dressing. This will be the final month that we are serving this. Uh, our Meyer lemons will not be available to us in Pennsylvania after this month. It's interesting to see how when they started out two months ago or so coming around again, uh, they were bright, bright yellow. A Meyer lemon is a mix of a lemon and an orange. So it's been interesting to watch how the season progresses, how these look like oranges now. Uh, very bright orange like an orange, but had that lemon shape. Uh, so just kind of a cool thing we picked up on as we were watching it progress throughout the season. I have all my mise en place here for our rustic lemon dressing. Two shallots, uh, two garlics, two each lemons zested. We have eight ounces of Meyer lemon juice, 16 ounces of olive oil, a little chopped parsley, a little uh, scallion we just got from Dylan at Clean Green, two tablespoons of whole grain mustard, and in here is about a teaspoon each of fennel seed, coriander, and a little crushed Thai chili. Uh, we love recipes like this because this is a broken vinaigrette, so everything goes in the bowl. There's no need to emulsify anything. Um, an emulsification, by definition, is a semi-permeable state of two unmixables. The key with that is semi-permanent, so uh, even an emulsified dressing will need to be mixed up from time to time or will separate. Uh, with a broken vinaigrette like this, it will always be broken, it will never emulsify together. You'll always have to stir it up before you kind of put it on your uh, salad or anything you're gonna do with it. But very simple preparation of just adding everything together in the bowl. If we wanted to emulsify this, we would really, really slowly add in our oil. The mustard would help to emulsify. Like I said, this is a broken vinaigrette, so we do not need to worry about that. Just wanna make sure it's all really mixed up there. We work for some chefs who didn't give a shit about it. They would say, cut the tape with your asshole. I like cut tape, so we use scissors to cut our tape. Not necessary, looks nice on the, on the containers, so we always like to uh, cut our tape and make sure everything's nice and square. Dope. 